Okay, I know that it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I figured I would kind of do it because um, it's it's been a while and I really actually kind of want to start getting stuff ready for Halloween because I don't entirely know how busy I'm actually going to be during the month of October. So, um, this is uh, my vulture, uh, my uh, skeletal vulture that I bought last year. I'm actually kind of glad I bought him last year because uh, the skeletal vultures that are around this year have all, for some bizarre reason, have had their bodies uh, formed or painted out of black plastic and their necks and heads are white. Um, I guess that's to make them look color-wise more vulture-like, but I, I, I just think it's kind of stupid. Like, I, I just, I, like wh why do you do that? It's kind of like molding bones where there are no bones. I, are, do you, are you trying to make those look like feathers? Because you're, you're not. Those, you're actually, they look like weird bones. And they did this with, um, uh, with, with spiders too. They've got spiders, skeletal spiders that are like made out of bones. Uh, I, I, maybe if you want to make it look like an art piece, I, I guess, but you actually made them look like they're tarantulas that are actually vertebrates, which is kind of stupid. So, yeah, anyway, so what, I'm going to make my vulture actually look uh, kind of more um, uh, zombie-like as opposed to more skeletal. Uh, for one thing, I'm going to be um, cutting off all of these idiotic bones that do not actually exist, and I am going to be replacing them with feathers. Uh, now, all of these feathers all are, uh, uh, yeah, they're, they're more or less the right color, but these all came from uh, brown geese. Um, also known uh, to most Americans as Canadian geese, um, even though their their actual uh, proper name is apparently Northern Brown. Um, these were all found. Um, I, if if you go to any park um, where geese uh, normally live um, and are actually uh, brooding and breeding um, during the month of July, uh, usually. Um, they molt. They all molt at once. They all molt all of their feathers and they cannot fly. And you can actually just go through and just pick up all of their feathers that they have lying around. Um, I purposely put, uh, yanked all the really good looking ones that I could find. Um, I actually did all of this at work. We actually have a uh, breeding pair of uh, geese at work. And so when they, when they molted all of their feathers, I, uh, I, I basically saved all a, a bunch of the really large ones um, to essentially use on this project. Um, so what I did was I actually took a saw and I cut off uh, this section of the bird's wing because um, it, realistically there would be a, a, a smaller set of bones which would be equivalent to our hand bones that would actually be attached to this part of the wing. Um, not like this ridiculously long thing that we have here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my glue gun and I'm going to start attaching wings or uh, feathers to make wings. Um, now I'm going to be clipping some of these um, and others I'm going to distress and, and almost make, turn into bone like um, appendages by, by just scraping all of this material off. Um, basically you, you cut each one and then you sort of glue it in place and feathers feathers on 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 a bird's wing are actually not only going to be attached to the hand bones what would be equivalent to our hand bones right along here which would be their primary flight feathers but their secondary feathers are going to be attached on the inside of of this bone right here so essentially what would happen is you have essentially have flesh covering this and all the feathers, all the secondary feathers, are going to be actually attached to uh, the secondary bone like this. And then these actually kind of like tuck underneath, the, the primary feathers actually tuck underneath the secondary feathers to protect them. So that's essentially what I'm going to do is um, these, I'm actually, I'm going to actually uh, like glue a couple of, of, uh, of uh, wing feathers. Uh, this would actually be this is actually be for the other side, but uh, but this this feather would actually be sort of tucked up and under this like this, 
and then the secondary feathers go over top of that uh, to, for more for more realism. And I'm also going to uh, take my saw and saw off uh, this part right here. Um, I may actually keep a little bit of this. Um, I may drill holes into it uh, because because a lot of this is actually solid. I, I actually thought this was this was hollow. If you actually look completely solid, which I wasn't entirely expecting. Um, I was actually expecting a hollow point to, to, to attach things to. So um, so I'm going to give this guy some feathers. Um, I'm going to give him um, some uh, little, a little tuft of, of white, kind of like for, for the uh, vulture's beard, and maybe even stick like a couple up under his head here, because his head actually kind of I may actually stick a few feathers around his head to sort of make him look like that. And he actually, he's actually got like a little bit of blood on his beak. I have no idea where that came from. He's been in the, um, my animal bin uh, since, since I pretty much put him away after uh, Halloween last year. Um, and, but I don't, I have no idea where that blood came from. But yeah, so I'm, so that's essentially how I'm going to customize this guy. Um, and then add some paint later, and I will show you when I get to that point. Oh, there now. Doesn't he look so much better? I, there was actually a convenient screw hole um, under his beak here to attach the lower part of his jaw. Uh, so it was actually a good place to stick just some tufts of feather for a beard. So I uh, stuck, a little, stuck a little white here along with a smaller feather, and look at that. Focus! Focus, there we go. Focus, there we go. These were actually kind of some of the ickiest looking feathers I had in my bunch, so they became part of part of my vulture. Um, these are actually these are not tail feathers; these are wing feathers. Um, uh, most people can't really tell the difference, um, so you know if, if 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 you actually use like some of your your secondary feathers that actually tend to and to uh, be almost half and half. They actually make really good tail feathers. So, so he is, he's ready for some paint, and then essentially done. And you, meowing in the background. Yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, meowing in the background. So, uh, my vulture is um, pretty much almost done and ready for Halloween. Uh, these are the bits that I cut off with my saw. Um, do not throw these out. Uh, you could use these um, for costuming, for uh, bits and bobs of hats. Say if you were making a, uh, a uh, character um, that would be like festooned with skeletons and, and parts and bones and things. This would actually like this would this would actually make a really awesome ornamentation for a hat or something. Um, so keep stuff like this because you never know when you might want it. So yes, my vulture is done.